turn now to another controversial move from the president, threatening to leave the Iran nuclear deal. Iran's president, however, is hitting back, saying the U.S. is isolated in its opposition to the agreement. And ABC's Gloria Rivera is in Washington for us this morning. Good morning to you, Gloria. Good morning, Paula. Congress now has 60 days to demand more from Iran, but there's been no indication yet Iran is even open to renegotiation. One former State Department official described Trump's about face to me as a huge hit to America's reputation, upholding its commitments, calling that the only true currency in international relations. This morning, a chorus of grave concern from the United States' major allies around the world after President Trump declared he will terminate the nuclear deal with Iran if Congress doesn't toughen it up. The Iran deal was one of the worst and most one-sided transactions the United States has ever entered into. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, who reportedly fought against the president's efforts to decertify Iran's compliance, said Friday he believes U.S. partners in the deal will get on board. I fully expect that our allies and friends in Europe and in the region are going to be very supportive in efforts undertaken to deal with Iran's threats. But many of the country's biggest allies are defending the deal. The UK, France, and Germany announcing they are committed to the full implementation of the nuclear agreement in their shared national security interest. But in the Middle East, praise from Iran's frequent sparring partner, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. I congratulate President Trump for his courageous decision today. He boldly confronted Iran's terrorist regime. Trump wants the deal expanded to restrict Iran's ballistic missile program and support of terror. The Iranian regime continues to fuel conflict, terror, and turmoil throughout the Middle East and beyond. But those elements were never part of the agreement, negotiated by multiple countries over years. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani had this warning should the U.S. change course. If other parties do not fulfill their promises, we will not hesitate even for one moment and will respond. And this morning, another country weighing in, Russia saying it deeply regrets Trump's decision. Dan, Paula. Gloria, thank you. Let's go to Austin, Texas now, and ABC News political consultant Matthew Dowd. Hey, Matthew, good morning. Good morning. So let's start with the, what the president has just done on the Iranian nuclear deal. Where does this leave us, and, and what, in your view, is the impact on our national security? Well, Dan, I think it's exceedingly problematic. As you know, there are seven countries that were part of this accord. Six of the countries are opposed to what Donald Trump just did, including the UK, China, Russia, France, and Germany. And so I think it sets us up in a position just like after the pulling out of the Paris Climate Accord, where we are on the outs of the inter an international community. And this was the first time we actually ever had an agreement with Iran to at least slow down their nuclear development very problematic for this president, and it's going to be very hard for him to get what he wants out of this Congress. And he seems, in terms of health care, he seems to be like kind of punting to, to Congress as well. We know that Obamacare was expected to really implode on its own, um, but now this is just accelerating the process. And now, uh, Matt, he's being sued by nearly 20 states uh, because he wants to stop these uh, subsidies. So what could the political risks here be for the president? Well, you know, this is like you having a car that's got problems in it, that it's, it's got malfunctions in it, and then you puncture the tires and put sugar in the gas tank and say, help me fix the car that I just am breaking. Uh, it's a huge problem in this. He now owns health care. It is no longer Obamacare. Donald Trump owns health care. And from a political perspective, he's in a real big problem. He's holding hostage, as was talked about earlier in the show, millions of people and their premiums and their care in order to accomplish something politically. And the other thing about this is, keep in mind, President Obama, Obamacare, the Paris Climate Accord, and the Iran Nuclear Agreement are all more popular than President Trump is in America today. Yeah, with one swipe of the pen, as you said, he now owns health care. Uh, Matt, thanks for your insight and analysis from Austin for us this morning. Great to be here. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.